Hello everybody and welcome back to my XCOM 2 <clears throat> Iron Man Let's Play Where we are about to get our second Reaper Hooray! No, but it's uh, actually a really good get Commander, Oh yeah, we, we need to do that mission I forgot, I forgot, it's fine we can always finish our scans later, but failing to take <clears> this <throat> mission could have So we're gonna have maximum four missions before we are able to see our Reaper now can we just have a, a mandatory mission for this? Okay, we have... I don't think we need three heavies. I would very much like to take one sniper with me though. Everybody's tired. <coughs> Okay, so we actually don't have a sniper. So I guess we'll go with three heavies in that case. I just thought we had four heavies, but we don't. Um, so three heavies. Okay, then. Three heavies, one ranger. Um, okay. Let's... I don't think we need to do much more. We really not have... Wait, we, we have to have a sniper somewhere. That is insane. <clears throat> I should probably train more people. Okay. Ooh, let's give one of our heavies a flashbang now. this one and since we're not using it let's just give our ranger a medkit since she's by far the most likely to get injured because I don't treat my rangers well okay let's go I hate council missions they're by far the worst Sky ranger but we are gonna get enough to intel deploy. to be able to contact the the, the the area where the <coughs> the area where the where the facility is in which we need to take out in order to get off the death store of our in order to get to the point where we don't immediately go back into game ending mode once they get their next um, progress for the avatar project <clears throat> we might also want to do We're some missions. For an emergency extraction of a VIP working for the resistance. The spokesman provided the coordinates, but the rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. It goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. It's funny that uh, most of the time when he says that, it's actually it's some of the few missions where you actually don't need to kill everybody. Probably will regardless, probably. It would feel like it. <clears throat> so yeah, good. I feel like the loading times are quicker in Iron Man mode. I don't know why that would be, but it feels pretty quick to me. Usually, it takes much longer for everything. <clears throat> I hate these missions because they're always in cities, and cities are. Really bad. S15, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't <coughs> concealed for the extraction. Okay. So I don't know why, but on these missions I get the I will be positioned. I get the chosen really often. Okay, so we can see some enemies. Do not do this. Good. I need to definitely work on my I know where you are. people's problems. We don't have a sniper, so we should get. Hopefully, I really want to get to a point where we can actually see the enemies <coughs> in order to attack them. But maybe we need to wait for a round. Probably, because I think if we 
if we do trigger the pod now, it'll probably leave us in a bad position. Whatever you say. I shouldn't have put you there. But that's fine. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of my people into overwatch because I would expect the pod to walk in the direction of the objective meaning in our direction I don't know I'll put you here and we can hopefully all overwatch them on their turn which would be great if we get lucky if we don't they'll run away from us which would make everything much more annoying maybe i should have just attacked them <coughs> so our reaper is already tired again which is just great because she just got untired are you kidding me so they moved away from us which is dumb so now I need to be a little bit more aggressive in finding them. But I do want to remain in cover. I don't know if I just ignore them, maybe we don't actually have to deal with them. And I really don't like the first turn I did because it basically was a waste of a turn. So in any way I need to get moving. <coughs> So what I will do is I will use my Reaper and look at my enemies. I will go. Oh, I should be able to see them. I can't see. Th Are you kidding me? Can actually not see them from here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna move close to the window. And if they see me. Good, if not, we'll just ignore him, which probably will bite us in the ass. And so. This is just really poor, this is really bad luck, actually, because we have, can you reach, please? Okay, so I will just grenade all of them, and because we don't have time to fuck around. And this should injure everybody, which is good. And it should also encourage them to attack me. Hopefully. It didn't. That's just great. <coughs> so, this is really unfortunate, actually. Maybe... I don't know. Should I put somebody out there as bait or not? I don't know at this point. We have to get to here, so this isn't... Um, I don't know, I feel like this is... First of all, it puts us in bad position, second of all, it's in the wrong direction. So let's just keep moving, maybe they'll move in our direction in the next turn where we hopefully won't find another pot. I should have checked with my reaper. Yeah, I didn't, but moving to position. It's okay. <clears throat> I'll move you up here. I don't really care that much about you. I guess we'll just ignore them. Can we blow up anything next to them? Nope. Okay, whatever. Later, dudes. I don't want to get revealed. <clears throat> Let's just move here. Okay, so we can see another pod. Where? Oh, we can see them from there. That's great. I guess. So we don't want to move here, and we can't really move, well, let's just go here, hope they run into us on their turn, and also hope we don't have a chosen spawn on this mission, because that might be annoying, 
but it is the easy chosen so it's not that bad <coughs> not the easy chosen but the the assassin which we can deal with pretty well i feel like go, go, go. so let's just keep moving Okay, so now they found us, finally. Took you long enough. Enemies on the move! They're flanking us! And we should be able to deal with them pretty Oh we have two pots now. I've got eyes on So that's troops. the real problem with with ignoring that pot. But again we have the big problem of a time constraint, so we can't actually spend half the game just running in circles trying to get all the pots okay it's a good thing we have so many heavies should be able we should try to grenade two of them well we should try to eliminate the most just go away uh, we should try to eliminate as many as we can with as few turns as we can since we are <clears throat> since we are gonna need as many uh, actions as we have just to kill the mob. Yeah, but you know what I mean. We have many enemies, not many actions, so... <clears throat> Killing them efficiently is good. We are also gonna go into full cover as much as we can. And we should be able to reach both... Oh, and oh wait. I didn't actually think about this because... This might not even kill both of them. Since it definitely won't kill both of them, since we still have the tier 1 grenades. <clears throat> which is very bad. Okay, so new plan is we retreat back, waste another turn, and just deal with one pot after the other. Oh, you are actually... Oh, I thought that was a... Uh, oh, we, we do need to deal with the stun lancer. That dude is a problem. I can take out both of these sectoids using my reaper. So I will do that. Hopefully. No, you know what I will do? Is I will actually grenade... Uh, this man up here, can you please, holy fuck, the grenade system in this game is incredibly annoying. Okay, so I saw it quickly there, please, please, grenade this mutant, please, please, uh, please. Are you kidding me? I just saw it. Fine then, we have other people who can throw grenades too. Um, but they are too far away, which is bad. <clears throat> okay, so please tell me you can actually hit this man with your grenade. Oh my god. Why is... So there was... One pixel where it worked, I think. I don't know, I'm not even sure. There it was, I think. Please? Why does it, this have to be so finicky? Okay, so this is a point where I'm just, okay, fuck it. We'll do the suboptimal, we'll do it the suboptimal way because the game is too finicky. <clears throat> and we have the additional problem. Um, so I think maybe we just need to flashbang all of them and deal with the other part, but I don't think we can flashbang all of them. Can we? 
and we're at the same problem. Okay, so the Muton doesn't actually see the flashbang grenade. Can okay, we flashbang those dudes? Do you have an additional move? You do. Can put you in a really bad position, which is great. And you can actually reach anyone. Okay. Okay. So what is the plan now? Everything, every idea is stupid, I, I think. Okay. <clears throat> so we can't actually get the muton down. I don't think. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna blow up these two guys. I really hope that it works. Placing explosive. Um, can you do something more useful than that? Okay, so I really don't like this move at all. We'll kill those two guys. Okay. Now, your name is Tiny. That's weird. Okay, so we need to deal with this Muton probably. Because Mutons can do quite a bit of damage. Um, but I don't know how to deal with this Muton. She's actually the one who's flanked pretty much by the Muton, but I can't move her anymore because I already wasted her move. And he has a 34% chance of hitting the Muton, which is pretty bad. And you <coughs> are also quite useless. So we have just a bunch of bad choices here. Don't know. Pretty much just that stupid placement of that of that pot at the beginning has put us in such a bad position. Okay, so I will now continue to ignore the muton, which will probably crit one of my people, which is something I am not very happy about. I can't actually shoot anyone with this dude. So, because we can't go for a 25% chance, that's just ridiculous. That being said, can I increase your chances? You don't even have cover shredding, which is just bad. Oh my god. Well, okay, we are gonna suppress the muton. I bet that's the best idea. Suppress the Muton. And we will start dealing with these guys. So we are looking for a place where we can actually end up in cover and take out some people. So this isn't good cover, but if we can finish off the... the what's it called? Oh, you know what I mean. If we can kill him, then that's... Why are you tired? Whatever. We'll shoot at the officer with our... And he missed his 80% chance because... Of course he did. I should have done the suppression at the end of this turn. It's, it's quite annoying. Um, okay. So he completely fucked up his turn, which is just great. You also have two people on the same spot, which is also great. We can't do anything with her, I don't think. Because she's one square too far back. We can shoot at the Stun Lancer to at least take some damage of the fort. We can also move here to make 
their turn a little bit more annoying. I know this is a position that is easily flanked. Well, that's fine. I can just go here. It doesn't really matter. Because this is better cover as well as um, spreading them out a little bit. So I kind of want them to target multiple targets. You know that was good. Um, so she's the last person I can actually use. I will put her on Overwatch and hope for the best. He missed, which is good, but he's still in a very annoying position. You cannot run. He missed as well, because that's what they do. That's why I call them the idiots. He's gonna. Well, he just marked her, which is fine. If he marks and shoots, that's a problem. You will never hide from me. So is he actually gonna set her on fire? Nope. Okay, so how do we take care of the of the new town? I think what we need to do. Okay, we need to deal with all of these dudes. Um, so I do not trust you anymore because you just missed an eighty percent chance. Okay, we need to take the new town out. I just important. How do we do that? Can you move to the... Okay. Um, okay, I will move her here. So we're gonna take two actions just to take out the Mutant. I believe. I'm on it. I'll just blow him up. Because this should put him on the lower floor. Why does it say? Why are we? Why is it marking the lower floor? It should be marking the upper floor. So I don't actually know if this will work. So I will. This is why buildings are so incredibly annoying. If you miss this, I will be fucking pissed at you. Okay, so the mutant is. Currently still in half cover, which is just fantastic. So we are up to a 64% chance now, which is not good at all. <clears throat> we should improve this chance by moving here. So you are gonna have to hit your shot, or else. Well, it's a six. It, it even. Reduce the chance. At least he got killed and he has been in the most annoying place ever. Okay, so with you, what I'm gonna do is flank again and we're gonna try for another 85% chance. Are you gonna hit this time? Is the question. Well, it's a 92% chance at this point. That does not redeem you. So. We are gonna finish off the dude using our Reaper. As you order, Commander. Yes, I am aware that I said finish off the dude. Well, and Put a Reaper. We got it. I need more ammunition. So now we only have one opponent left. And we are gonna not uh, melee this opponent <clears throat> because this opponent might blow up. I can handle that. So since we saw two pots I assumed that I would not see a pot here. But really you actually have this cutout. I was uh, assuming that this cutout of the blue move was due to the fact well it's probably due to the fact I can just move her and then I can move there. But do I really want to? It's actually on fire. Well, that's a good question. I do. Moving on target You'll location. be fine. We are going to attack the purifier. 
and blow up his cover. Bombs away. I'm just gonna assume that the head there is stupid because it's usually stupid. And so she can probably just kill it. Seven to nine, he has seven HP, so this is a guaranteed kill. And he didn't even blow up, so it was all for nothing. Did you see that one? She did get promoted, which is good. Okay, so we need to pick up the loot using our Reaper, because the Reaper is actually the only one who can get back to the group. Since we've wasted so much time on these, these two parts. Wait, the loot dropped down or is it upstairs? What the hell? Okay, so the loot is here apparently. What? The shadows save us. Why did you run through the window? It didn't say you were gonna be revealed. Okay, so we have a superior repeater, which is very useful. I'm probably gonna put that... I, have your I don't item. even know what I'm gonna put that on. Probably a heavy, actually. Ready to engage. Because I usually only use my reapers... Well, we'll see. Out. I usually only use my reapers as killing blows. That really say so she was gonna be revealed because I didn't see that. It is dumb. I'm so angry today, I'm sorry. I don't know why. My and I didn't mean to put him there. I probably shouldn't advance much further. I own Oh hey friends. Okay, so I guess we know where the final uh I assume the final part is. Maybe we have two more parts. We'll see. So I don't really want to advance much further. I'll just go here. Which hopefully doesn't trigger the part. Didn't. But we're not going to do much else on this turn. Except for reload. Maybe they'll walk into our field of vision. You can move to her. Go, go, go. And guess just hunker down. So I would, well, we'll see. Maybe we have two parts left. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm really happy about the superior repeater, though. It's useful. So I will put her back into shadow, it's time to focus. which in my eyes is bullshit. Shouldn't have. Okay, so right here it doesn't say she's revealed, neither does it here. So I would assume she doesn't jump through a In window. That isn't... You can never escape my sight. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Okay. So we can see their, the pod and we can... Um, should we attack them this turn? I don't think it's such a bad idea. How much out of position are we? I don't think it's that bad. Is it? I don't know. We probably have time for one more setup turn. I don't know. I think we're overpowered anyways. We'll probably be fine. I hope. Let's just I'm go gone. for it. Anyways, they have a... They have a purifier, so it's not really that bad. So our main focus is gonna be on the, the mech, which we should be able to take up pretty easily. You actually have no cover. Um, I guess I'm, I don't think, I don't know if I need to move you up or I should move you up. I think you're still out of harm's way here and I don't think there's an additional part here. We're just gonna slightly move you up. 
Um, okay, so in this position, okay, so I don't think the purifier will do much. I think the, On the move. Uh, Spectre will be annoying next turn because he'll knock out one of my people. And the mech always needs to die as, as soon as possible. Okay, 85, 60, maybe we need to take that. What can I do with our specialist? I can hit two, but I put myself in a really bad position. So I will, hmm, does anybody have grenades? I'm just gonna assume this guy's dead don't think the spectre well the 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 purifier has grenades but they're only fire grenades they're not that bad so we'll see what our percentages are here yes I know you can kill the mech everybody can kill the mech okay so let's use a unit that can only kill the mech this guy can kill nothing because he's out of position who would have thought um, okay, so Shifter can only kill the mech. So let's shoot with him first let's and see how it goes. What can you hack and how much will it benefit me? Infiltrating access point. Control of a random enemy for two turns. Yeah, let's do that. And he missed. Oh my god, that was a 72% chance. And we're gonna get reinforcements called down on us, so we need to take out the pod. It's still there. Holy fuck, I hate that guy so much. Are they actually spawning right away? No. Holy hell, I hate that guy so much right now. He's missed his 80% flanking shot. And then... He missed the 72%. That is insane. I hate that man so much. Can't do anything with you. Okay, so the mech needs to die. Um, what's your shot on the Spectre? It's 54. We don't benefit much. Can you actually throw your grenade up there? You can. Well, you can. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. Okay. Guess we'll shoot at him. A hit. It's a neck. Target neutralized. We'll move up tiny. And because we will move up tiny because Overwatch does nothing against Spectres because they are they have fast reflexes which means that the first reaction shot always misses on them. Okay, so we have seven reinforcements being called because Shifter is a giant piece of shit. And I hate him so much. And we are gonna have one of our units be knocked out. Who will it be? will be you okay so what they do is they knock out your unit and clone them the unit cries about it and both of both the, the the spectre and the shadow go hide oh he actually ran into my reaper just i don't know how, how have you been having so much bad luck that's incredible Okay, so we need to kill the Spectre. If we kill the Spectre, the other... Well, this is great, because... Uh, so, one of them is burning, the other isn't. Doesn't really matter, because we have to deal with two pods, so we can't really take... Um, wait, are you both burning now? Whatever. I don't care. 
Okay, so we will ignore the shadow. We need to take out. Um, we need to. Okay, who can you shoot from here? The shadow, which is completely useless. You can. You have a pretty good shot at the trooper because we are gonna need to heal. Her. We should have done that after we moved because she's gonna get set, reset on fire now. You are gonna eat your shot on this dude, please, and kill him. No, nope. of course not. Um. Okay, so this is so everything is going wrong now. Um, you can hit the reaper but not kill it, which is great. We are still at this point ignoring the shadow. You are probably my you're probably very useful at this point. Stun Dancer needs to die. This guy needs to die as well. Who has a grenade left? What can you blow up? Is there anything useful? Blow up. Nope. And nope. That is cover of my people. Oh no, there's, there's still the shadow which is completely useless. It can be ignored completely. So the purifier is the least important target. And the spectre is probably the highest target needs to die immediately because it will give us an additional unit. So what do we do with our... Uh, with her? Is we are going to put her here in order... Well, she can probably says I am to obey. act as a finisher for either... At this point it doesn't matter. Okay. Who has a grenade? Well, you have a stun grenade, which could be very useful in this situation, because it's your... Okay, I don't really... I think I can kill all of these people. But I think I need to focus on the other ones, because I can stun all of them um, at the same time. He will still need to... Hmm... Where can he move to? This is just... Can pretty... Certainly kill you. Can you help with the other part? don't think you can so my idea to hack has actually completely fucked us but okay we need to kill I really want to kill at least the trooper okay so this is everything's going wrong oh and if we kill the Spectre, we get her back, which is also useful. This means the Spectre is in full cover, which is bad. Okay, so I'm gonna tank one shot. Kill this dude, we still have a stun, which is important. Okay, so she's back. No, that's the other one. Where's the other one? Where's the one I just got? Well, hmm. okay, so you have a grenade, which is good. This means I don't uh, have to kill the trooper directly. I can just blow him up alongside. Um, 
I can just do this. This will kill the trooper. This will kill the trooper and destroy the cover of the other one. We should then be able... We, we, we are going to stun the remaining two of the other uh, pot and hopefully be able to take out... Um, okay. Wait, what is, what is actually left? other part okay we have yeah the stun lancer can be quite annoying okay so what do we have left we have you left you can stun you can shoot this guy you can also move so you don't necessarily maybe we just need to tank one shot from the fucking stun lancer which we kind of do on a regular basis now, apparently. So I'm very likely just completely overthinking this. Um, so the people that are left now can't actually mess us up that badly. I will put you here, and I will shoot at the stun. Uh, I will shoot at the officer. to what I said before. I will use you to flank and hopefully kill the purifier. Not kill apparently. You are on fire as well, sir. I don't know if you realize this. And we only have these two left. This one, of course, is completely useless. Put you there. I really don't care. And can I? Okay. Wait. Yeah, so we want to kill the purifier because that takes damage off the board, and we're gonna have to tank the. Oh, great! Good job! So we're just missing everything now. Every 80% chance. You guys are complete and utter fucking idiots and I hate you so much. What exactly did she set on fire? Yeah. I didn't come here to die. But it's good, she's injured now, which means that she's not gonna get tired. And we should be able to extract pretty soon. But the idiots are being idiots and it's kind of annoying. Okay, just flank and kill the stun lancer, please. You're not too close to the, to the other vision. guy. Please hit and kill. Okay, I'm gonna use my ranger to melee the purifier with the hope that he explodes and he didn't. Open because the game always stutters when explosions happen and injure her so she doesn't well, get tired how about that? Um, yeah. I think the tiredness mechanic is a good mechanic but I think it's way too punishing okay so there is no real access to the roof that's good to know Um, are we gonna, we're gonna need an additional turn anyways, I think, um, because of her, so, okay, she, she's gonna get up here in two turns, which means I'm gonna leave everybody in a position that they can extract on the next turn and, but not move much further on and we'll see yeah, if we have any alien activity. You need to hunker down. Because I would imagine that we've killed all the pots, but there might be one left. Oh, you're gonna get set on fire, aren't you? Don't like you looking into that building, but... It's okay, so there's no aliens left. Fire's getting close here. This means 
we are done with this mission. But it might take us two turns to evacuate. You know. But that's fine, we have a lot left. And since there's no reinforcements on this turn, we're fine. Let go! Ladder, or the drain pipe, I guess. And let's just evacuate who we can, because it'll make the game go quicker. And I'm out of here. Yeah. So I think after this mission, everybody's gonna have to have some R and R, because. I don't think we have very many viable soldiers left after this and I also we, we also need to contact um, basically we have some waiting times we have to get the last information on the chosen which is gonna be our next target to kill the chosen I can cover it before we move on to the next chosen. Um, I leave the after, for now. And also we, we need to make contact to the regions with the facilities we need to take out. Okay game, hurry up. Heading out. But even though everything went wrong in this mission, I think it, in general, it went pretty well. I think we have two injured. And that's fine. A lot of people are going to be tired, which is annoying. But I, I really don't like the council missions. They're just always a pain in the ass. And they always come up at the wrong times. And again, they're in in the, the city biome which means they are a giant pain to deal with Moving out. I actually should have gotten you injured so you don't get tired we also took out a lot of newbies I think because a lot of those names I haven't seen before this is okay so we have two injured one of which is thankfully our um, our reaper because she's been tired after every mission now, which is kind of annoying. But we will get a second Reaper after this. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. Yeah, so we also need to spread out a little bit more so we have more income, which could be important. But we have most of the vital upgrades as of now, and the rest is gonna be just the next round of weapon upgrades is gonna require us to have a lot of resources. Um, and I don't know when they will come, I don't really remember. Maybe it's with the new town autopsy. I don't know. But we'll get those as soon as possible anyways. So as long as there's even up. one Reaper one. left standing, you can bet there's still in the fight. Mm. Finger on the trigger. You are gonna get run a gun because run a gun is very useful. Because I always leave people in the wrong position. Okay, Superior Repeater again Hello, is Commander. a very good item. And we got a lot of intel and a scientist. Okay, so we are gonna work on that, on everything in the next episode. And I'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like. And I'll see you in the next episode.